Hi, I'm Scott Kreitzer and welcome to Phase 1 Primary Skills Development for the Classical Guitarist. In Phase 1, I lay the foundation for our sitting positions, our right and left hand positions, as well as how to execute primary movement forms for the right hand. So what are primary movements? Well, primary movements represent virtually all the right hand movement forms that exist in the Classical Guitarist repertoire, and they are called alternation and sympathetic motion. Relatively simple to learn and even eventually master, these movement forms not only aid in developing a strong technique, but mapping these movement forms into our repertoire will aid tremendously in error-free playing. But before we begin learning these movement forms, it's important to first understand the principles of positioning, which will help us form our sitting, right, and left-hand positions, as well as the principles of movement. Both sets of principles are guided by biomechanics. This kinetic approach to the guitar is thorough, and the student who completes phase one will not only have developed the foundation for error-free playing, but an understanding as to the how and why of technique for the classical guitar. Phase one is built upon many levels, ultimately leading to a concise and effective technical workout. It will also be helpful for continued study of the primary principles covered here in phase one. In addition, many of the upcoming skills you'll learn in subsequent phases, tone production, uh, musicianship, secondary skills, and practice directives, can be mastered here first in our technique and later applied to our repertoire. Your phase one practice, ultimately your technique practice, will require a small amount of concentrated time. At the beginning you can expect to practice just a few minutes per day and by the end of phase one your complete technique practice will be around 10 minutes per day. Phase one will work for the absolute beginner as well as the most experienced player and can be eventually integrated into your playing. Each level of the phase will include specific written instructions, a practice plan listing how to practice and how long to practice uh, the exercises. This will be posted for free on my website. In addition, those who want to work with me directly can have access to video instructions as well as my practice along with Scott video where I'll coach you on the principles as you and I practice together for each level of phase one. There are a number of ways to study the phases priced for a variety of budgets, both for the local and the remote student, where you can access all of the videos I mentioned. Ongoing bi-monthly private lessons tailored to your needs uh, will probably cover technique and then find the skill sets that you most need and work on those. I offer a set number of weekly one half hour private lessons designed to cover a specific subject such as technique or tone production or practice directives. I offer workshops on all levels of my phases and I also offer a video response only where upon completion of each level of the phase, you send me a video of your work, at which time I comment and then send you the next level for each level of the phase. And of course, Classical Guitar Immersion, offered annually each June on the picturesque Columbia River Gorge just outside of Portland, Oregon, CGI offers the most comprehensive way of tying all the materials together, technique, practice directives, and performance. Uh, there's a lot of camaraderie built at CGI, it's a lot of fun, and it's a great week. So please go to my website for more information regarding these formats of study. And as always, please feel free to add your questions and comments to the blogs as I post this information on my website. I suggest that you go to my website and subscribe so that you'll be notified as soon as these and other articles for the Classical Guitarist are posted. Okay, well let's begin phase one.